What's up guys? So I'm here in my car. I'm actually waiting for George to arrive. Uh, he had to do something. And once he's here, we're gonna head over to his apartment. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's up, my man? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so I'm here at George's place and we're gonna shoot a cinematic B-roll sequence with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Uh, we have everything set up. We have wanted to keep it really simple. We have a simple softbox light over here and we're gonna use his living room, this couch and the table and those chocolates over there to create something epic. So the way how we will do this is I'll have George coming in from the left and sit on the couch and then he's gonna grab that bowl of chocolate and pour it over the table and he's gonna grab one of the chocolates, throw it up in the air and afterwards um, he's gonna take out his laptop, open it up, write something and then walk off the scene. That's basically the B-roll sequence we're gonna shoot today. We're not gonna use Filmic Pro. I will be using the native camera app on my iPhone since it's just a quick B-roll sequence. This should be good enough. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Nice, okay. Okay, this time we can make it and go. That was much better. Three, two, one, go. Nice, I think that was good. And action. Yeah. Okay, and action. Okay, that was good. So I did 10 times, <laughs> I'm eating the <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm gonna set focus again. Action. Yep. Go. Yeah, that was good. Three, two, one. Nice. Oh, I forgot to record it. One more, keep typing. Focus is locked. And go. One more. Yeah, perfect. One it. It's almost good. Go. All right. We finished it. I gotta hit the beat. I gotta hit the beat, beat. I gotta hit the beat. I gotta hit the beat, beat. I gotta hit the So I hope you like that short cinematic B-roll sequence I did with my iPhone. I'm now gonna show you how I edit everything together using Final Cut Pro X. I actually already created the project and edit the video together. This way I can more easily show you how I've done it. So the first thing I did is I imported all the videos that I shot on my iPhone to my iMac. And I use an app called Image Capture, which already comes with the Mac. I can easily download it from my iPhone to my desktop. I don't recommend airdropping it because you can lose quality. The next thing I do is I open up Final Cut Pro X and create a project. So the project I created is actually set to vertical. Uh, the resolution is 2160 by 3840 and the frame rate is 24 frames per second. Another big thing is to organize your clips. So what I do is create these keywords. I have my A roll, B roll, um, and all of that, but for this cinematic sequence, I imported all of it and I used music and sound effects from Artlist, which I also imported into 
uh, the project. The next thing I do is I drag all of the clips into the timeline and shorten the video. I make sure to just only get to the best parts. When creating a B-roll like this, you will see that I created speed ramps between the clips. This way it transitions better. It goes from 100% to 200% and in the next clip it goes from 200% to 40% and slows down. And I did that with every single clip. Something else that you should consider is adding sound effects. This way the video will come alive. It really makes a difference in your video. So let me show you how it sounds without music. So the next thing I did is I color graded the footage. I actually first did a base correction where I correct the exposure and white balance. And afterwards I added an orange and teal LUT to it, uh, which looks pretty awesome. I would say the editing part plays a really important role in finalizing your video. The B-roll sequence wasn't planned. I had no shot list. If you have good editing skills, you can actually make any mediocre footage look good. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe so that I can keep creating awesome videos for you guys. And if you haven't heard of my free smartphone filmmaking guide, make sure to download that. The link will be in the video description below. If you're new to smartphone filmmaking, this guide guide will help you get started with finding the right tools to create your videos. And if you want to see more smartphone filmmaking tutorials, I have a bunch of them on my channel, but I'm going to recommend you these two videos that you can check out that will certainly improve your smartphone filmmaking skills. Until then, take care and have a great day.